my recent run of trips has each presented me with an odd problem. And it was basically a test of persistence, I guess. Raleigh was just a horrible, badly placed mess, and I got lost a lot. In this, it was <laughs> a dilemma of lying cabbies. <laughs> where I just said, the hell it, I'll walk the extra three miles. And it turned out to be a fine decision. As a non-driver, I'm always looking into cab options in these towns. And it seems to be a dying industry where you have these strange hustlers who have a bunch of websites that tie a bunch of phone numbers together that pretend to be taxis in various towns, but it's all the same idiots trying to hustle you for 60 buck trips to the airport. <laughs> it's strange. I have run into old school cabbies though. There's a great one up in Newbury Port, and I highly recommend it. And I have a feeling we won't have problems like this when I go to Andover tomorrow. I'm probably more than halfway through this. just been a delight. I seem to recall this boulder erratic we've met on prior occasions. Whatever the upper of two of these places is in an offset, that's the direction you're aiming for. So I guess we go down here. Ooh. And a whole other trail here. This looks like a bridal path or something. A monarch. Elusive. In our Recurring this away, that away moment. That away heads north ever so gradually through all sorts of stuff before finally ending up at Plum Island in Newburyport. Somewhat bereft at this time, but nonetheless magnificent. And this way will take us to Duxbury. It's actually Duxbury's a bit closer than Newbury at this point. Yesterday, or no, Monday, I was in Maui, which is the next door town to New York. You gotta love public transportation. Ah, Shag Bar Hickory, I recall from before. I still have to go through something like 400 photos to make sense of them all. Figure out where to put them. And another turn brings us over. A different S 
security is sort of here. A little traffic. A convergence of trails and a beer can campfire just beyond the dried up stream. I think the last time I was here there was water in this. Oh yeah, this one is particularly wonderful. People over time have made this little mini stone wall thing. It's killer. This is this tells you the people here kind of taken this into their hearts, at least some of them anyway. <laughs> so, that's really the mission for getting this thing over, the process whereby the constituents, the people who live in these towns, dingbats like me who want to go out for day hikes, people who have dogs to walk and whatnot, they need to know the place exists. And I've generally observed that once that happens, the process, Claiming a kind of stewardship ownership can begin. It can't just be left to hidebound institutional structures <laughs> that love meetings and shit. around a lot since they moved out of Alston. But uh, the freight run is heading down to Walpole and Mansfield. Probably run into a little bit of it at the station. almost like it's right there, but you can't actually see it. Trains pass now. Airplane. 